Hi, Paul here from Paul Kelly Golf, and today we're going to do a little talk on putting. Specifically, what happens to your stroke and your club face impact when you change the way you hold on to your grip. Stay tuned, I think you're going to find this interesting. Here's our four sets of putts, each set using a different style grip, and each set having five putts, which then gave me an overall suitability score for the putter and the style of grip that I was using. And you can see they range from 97.6 to a low of 86. Our next column we focus on is face angle at impact. And this gives us two numbers. It gives us the actual degree of impact, whether it's open or closed, negatives are closed, positives are open, and it gives us a percentage, which is the consistency value of us being able to repeat that face and angle impact. Our next column is the strike point in relationship to center of the club face. Anything off center is the same as hitting an iron or wood off center. You're gonna have a distance loss. So hitting close to center is really important in a putter. So what we see now is positives are off towards the toe, negatives are towards the heel, and they're based in millimeters. The last column is our putter rotation during the swing. And this is the maximum amount of rotation in relationship to the arc of the stroke. The first set of putts I'll look at is me putting with my left hand low, which is a very popular method. It ranks pretty good for me at 89%, but it's certainly not the best of what I have going. When I look at the column of face angle at impact here, we can see an average of closed 0.3 degrees and a consistency rating of 72. So even though the average is quite low, the consistency is also very low because the consistency shows us that we've got multiple opens and closes. So there's no real pattern there and I'm gonna miss left and right. The strike point column on this set shows an average of 5.4 millimeters off center towards the toe. Now you can have strikes off the toe and off the heel as long as they're consistent. I always hit towards the toe. Uh, my putter, I'm always off center a little bit, but my swing knows that and I've built my distances and I've built my swings knowing what I'm gonna get out of a stroke. So it's not too bad, but I would like to see that tolerance a little bit lower down to three, three and a half at the most. Face angle rotation during the arc on this one is fairly consistent. Three, three and a half is usually where I fall in and it gives me a good feeling that I can actually control the club head. So once again, this is the relationship of how much your club is open at a maximum point during the arc of the swing. Next set of putts we look at is what I call thumbs on top or side-by-side -side thumbs. So it's almost like your hands are in a, a praying position. Uh, it's a very popular one. It's one that I've played on and off with for the last couple of years. And you can see here that an overall rating of 97%, this one works well for me. So here's an example of one that's working really well. I've got an average of 0.2 degrees closed at impact and almost all of my putts are reading a little bit closed. So we've got good consistency, which is why it's reading up in the high 90s. With a 3.2 millimeter average on the toe strike point, this one performs very well for me. I like that they're all together. One did get away on me, which is seven millimeters off center. That's a little bit far, but one out of five is not bad. I've got pretty good consistency as far as distance control on this one. With an average 3.8 degree maximum opening in relationship to the arc, this one is also a really good fit. I did have one get away from me a little bit, but the other four are almost identical, which tells me that I'm able to control the club head really well using this grip.
This one is a palm grip. It's where I turn my hand underneath, so my palm is facing a little bit more upwards. The principle is, is that it takes out a lot of wrist cock and takes out a lot of movement. However, for me, it's never worked. I've tried it multiple times back and forth, but I get a very low reading and I'm not able to control the club face, the strike point, or the rotation very well in this. So when we look at the face angle at impact, we show uh, average open club face of 0.6 degrees. Now, that's not exceptionally bad. It's more than I would want. But my issue with this one is, is that I've got an open of 0.9 and an open of 1.3. Those are both missed putts from 10 feet. At 10 feet, I won't hit the hole on those. So this one, uh, while it looks okay in some parts, it's, it's erratic. This is where the palm grip for me causes the biggest issue. It's the distance control. I'm not able to find the middle of the club face, and I've got a couple of high ones, an 11 and a 14, that are very far away from center and close to the toe completely. So for me, I'm not able to control the distance on this one at all. With this set, you can see that the putter rotation falls in amongst that average three, three and a half where I like to be. So I'm still able to control the club head during the arcing. I'm just not able to control the club face or the strike point. last set is a standard overlap grip. I'm using the same grip as I hold my driver and my irons, my pinky and my right finger overlapping the index finger of my left, standard normal swing. It's not reverse overlap like you see some people do. I'm holding my putter exactly like I hold my irons and my woods. And you can see the results. I've got almost perfect averages and I've got exceptionally high consistency on all of them. This one works really well for me. When we look at the face angle at impact on this one, this is magic. I've got three putts essentially that were at zero. My average is zero degrees at impact and my consistency is 100%. I'm able to control the club face at impact on this one exceptionally well. Looking at strike point, I've done a fairly good job on this one. I've got an average of 3.4, I've got 100% consistency within the tolerance zone, and I had just one of the five get away a little bit on me with that six millimeter one. But overall, the ball is being hit in the same place all the time, so that even though it's out on the toe, it's giving me the same distance all the time. So I learn how to do that, and I make my swing work with it. Wrapping things up with the putter rotation, I'm right at my spot that I like to be, 3.4, 3.5. I've done a good job of being able to control this and got a high consistency rating. Once again, I'm able to feel the club rotate throughout the stroke. In summary, four sets of putts, four different data, four different grips. So I hope you got something out of that. It's a little bit slow moving and there's lots of data. Putting is not a glamorous thing, but it is the biggest part of the game and it's the part that we need to have uh, the most success in. So I know that you do not have launch monitors for putting. So what I'm gonna do is give you a real quick tip on how you can use something at home to determine if the grip you're using is not working or working or if there's a better one out there. So stay tuned, this is gonna make it worthwhile. All right. So we know you don't have a launch monitor. So what we're gonna do, use a 48 inch ruler. You can go to Kent's, you can go to Home Depot anywhere, buy a ruler, gonna put your ball on it. If you're able to roll the ball off the end of the roller, then your putter is working pretty good. Your ball is staying straight and you've got a chance to make putts. So let's see what happens. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative and stay tuned to this channel as we'll present more tips throughout the winter.